What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about potential DLC that may be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online in the near future. Now this includes things like a casino, gambling and also a whole new map Liberty City that may be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online either as DLC or maybe even a whole new game. So if you guys enjoyed the sound of that or you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes guys, it would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So starting off with casinos and gambling, now this is a bit of a touchy subject, it has been mentioned before, I do believe there were some leaked audio files on this which I will try to find for you guys and leave in the description below, but recently there has been new leaked files, and these files were leaked by ECB2 and for anybody who doesn't know who ECB2 is by now, he is one of the most known hackers and modders in the GTA community, both him and FunMW2 are always leaking correct information, so it does come from a reliable source. Nevertheless, the new code that was found by ECB2, actually pulled from the GTA 5 code, was Reset Roulette, Stop Roulette and Set Roulette Outcome. Now this isn't really too much to go by, but it does spark the idea of casinos and gambling actually coming to GTA 5 Online. And the reason I say this is because why else would the code already be in the game? Of course, the code does state roulette, basically meaning roulette tables, and the only real location for a roulette table in the game currently is at the huge casino, so it does seem plausible that Rockstar may actually end up adding this in as a future DLC. And also the fact that ECB2 did leak this, and once again, ECB2 is known for leaking correct information in the past so he does seem to be reliable it makes me truly believe that rockstar may actually end up using this as future dlc so who knows maybe in the future you guys can expect a casino with roulette tables slot machines and many other things tell me what you guys think in the comment section below do you think rockstar is going to be adding a casino judging by these files that ecb2 has given us i would say that it's going to happen but of course this hasn't been confirmed by rockstar yet so i guess we will have to wait and see Nevertheless, that is all the information I do have on casinos and gambling. So now I'm going to be talking about the possibility of Liberty City coming either as GTA 5 DLC or maybe even a whole new game. So the information I do have is actually from an article on the GTABase.com. I will have a link to the article in the description below for you guys to check out for yourselves. Nevertheless, as you can see by the title of this article, it does say Liberty City coming to GTA Online, possible slip from DJ Wukid interview. Now DJ Wukid is a famous DJ who was actually working alongside GTA or Rockstar, sorry, and he actually made a Grand Theft Auto mixtape as well as a Max Payne mixtape as well. And he was being interviewed by, I think it was a company called Baller Status, I'm not entirely sure about that. But basically in this interview, he was getting asked loads of questions. Now one of the main questions that was asked was what video games were you in? In which Wukid replies, I was in some Grand Theft Auto games, I am about to be in the new Grand Theft Auto that takes place in New York again. Now obviously with that being said, Wukid has actually slipped up there. Um, he did state that he is going to be in a new Grand Theft Auto that takes place in New York again. Now this is where it starts to get interesting. As you can see on screen, again from the article it states, now this could have just came out wrong. We all know this happens at times, but in my opinion, Wukid may have said what he was meant to say in the wrong way, possibly meaning that he is going to be in the next Grand Theft Auto Online content add-on, which brings the map of Liberty City as a place to go in GTA Online. Something that has been aired out previously when Leslie Bean, I think it's Benzies, I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing that right, head of the Rockstar North, so this guy is serious, he is the head of Rockstar North, and he stated to Gaming Former, as well as other gaming magazines including Kotaku, pre-GTA Online release that he would like to create one big GTA world where it contains all of your favourite GTA cities and enables you to fly to and from each one. So that right there is basically said from the head of Rockstar North and also a quote from him as well which says a dream of ours is to create an entire Grand Theft Auto world that consists of everything we've done or are going to do then let the player move freely between them the launch of Grand Theft Auto Online is a beginning for us it gets us a little closer to being able to make that happen and of course that quote is from Leslie Benzies once again I hope I'm pronouncing that right from Rockstar North. So it seems by that quote alone that Leslie is trying to plan something huge. He wants to create an entire Grand Theft Auto world that consists of every map they have ever done. 
and then he states that Grand Theft Auto Online is just the beginning. So considering Rockstar North themselves want this to happen, and also a little kind of hint may also be the fact that Grand Theft Auto Online isn't actually called Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, it is just called Grand Theft Auto Online. Maybe Rockstar may have this all planned from the beginning to make Grand Theft Auto Online a collective of every map together. So Rockstar actually want that to happen, so you know, it actually may happen. I truly believe that something like this could end up happening once they bring in a new map. Um, of course, alongside that, DJ Wook had slipped up and he said that he was going to be in a new Grand Theft Auto that takes place in Liberty City. And of course, the rumor behind that is that he didn't mean to say it in that way. Basically, he slipped up what potentially could be the next DLC for Grand Theft Auto. So with all that being said, that is pretty much all the information I do have. Hopefully, you understand some of this. It is kind of really hard to understand. And of course, none of this is actually confirmed. But... It's all kind of it's, it's all kind of coming together nicely. So I'm gonna leave the commentary there. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. It really does help out. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 500 likes, guys? That would be awesome. And I think my next video is going to be a new card duplication glitch. I am not entirely sure, so make sure you leave a like if you want to see that. Also, you can go ahead and follow us on Twitter at 2 Dynamic HD. We are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're gonna post next. Anyway, with that said, I shall see you all in the next video.